Pokemon Vinyl community. Welcome to another video with the Record Spinner, and look who is joining me! The CD player! <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Sam. She has decided to tag along with me on this record store trip because we are doing yet another record store vlog. Um, this time around, I'm doing some more trades. Um, there's one record that I just recently got an upgrade of. Uh, there's one record that is signed that I'm parting ways with. And then there's also two records that I just uh, kind of stumbled across uh, while I was coming through my collection uh, that I know that I can get more complete upgrades of sometime down the road. Uh, those trades are in the back of the car and we're gonna go in see how much I can get for them and see what I can get in exchange and then with this one she'll be in the bargain CD section <laughs> that's my go-to that's right So walking in, I hear this, and that means it's a good sign. Rather interesting. I believe I don't know if this was an online exclusive on his website, uh, but this is really, really easy to find. This is the blue version along with a poster, um, one of the umpteenth many colored pressings of this particular album. I see a little red band right there. Let's see what that is. Ah, Mofi? Far and Ford Mofi version. Nice. I was gonna say, I think I have it quite good now because I have the red vinyl rocktober version, I think it is. All right, I've seen this so many times, I might as well just do my research and see what exactly is up with this compilation. Um, I know I've mentioned this many uh, times before in other vlogs, but I don't know if this is a repackaging of his two albums or if it's a compilation. Um, I'll probably find out before I leave the store and who knows, maybe this will come home with me. John and Yoko's no. tape experiments. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> There's an advantage to this guy. <laughs> All right, so the guy just spoke to me. He's gonna give me $35 for what I brought in. So let's see what we can find. Um, I can see myself for sure finding something within that price range. Um, I think I might be paying out of pocket if I'm a little too uh, excited. So um, at least I know what I'm working with. Now, if I was feeling extremely adventurous, I would snag this up in a heartbeat. This is the uh, How the West Was Won reissue. Um, I picked up the CD version when it got redone. Um, I, I really do want the vinyl version. I'm just waiting for that price drop, but then again, if I'm too dangerous, it could leave with me, but I don't think that's gonna happen today. And as we approach the bargain CD section, 
there's the CD player in her natural habitat. Hi. So what'd you find so far? <laughs> Four bitchin' babes. Gotta love it. Yep, but on a real note, you found this for me, but I found oh, Indigo Girls. A, oh, Indigo, okay. Because because the on High Fidelity, the musical, one of the exes listens to Indigo Girls. There you go. So and I want to test it. And what's underneath there? Is Brian Wilson on? Yeah. Nice. So obviously not so much now since Sam has bangs, but in some photos back when she had her old hairstyle, she used to look like Janis Joplin a little bit. So let's see what her reaction will be. Honey, I found you. You can go. Well, I'll find a ride. <laughs> and she also loves Star Wars. It's definitely worth checking out some of the valuable uh, pressings that are up on the wall. So you got the Charles Manson album there. But this right here was the biggest surprise. This is the Kiss You Wanted the Best, You Got the Best compilation. Only got a one-time vinyl pressing back in 1996 in the US, and it did get reissued as part of the Kissteria um, box set, but it's only available there, and it is sealed. Uh, it's low-key tempting, but I think I might call it off for the price. Oh, we also got some uh, Bob Dylan Mofis, got some Floyd. We have a Japanese pressing of Song Remains the Same. Got the Kinks. Some notable staff picks. So I'm not too much of a um, seven inch buyer. I mean, I do collect them, uh, just not to the major extent of 12 inch releases. Uh, but while coming across here, I came across this. So this is Karen Elson. Uh, this was um, Jack White's ex-wife. Uh, very, very talented um, performer. Uh, this is the Milk and Honey seven inch. This right here, I'm gonna try to show you inside because I don't wanna take it out. But it is indeed the colored vinyl version from Record Store Day, I want to say 2012. Kind of tempting to snag this. Go think about that one. I normally go after the uh, newer pressings, but let's see what's in the King Crimson section. Ah, so this is the American cover for Islands. The um, international version came with like the Galaxy kind of cover, but instead we kind of have like the tie-dye Islands there. Red. UK import, that's cool. A Half Speed 87 EG Records version. Really nice. And then we also have uh, Beats, I got that recently. Compact King Crimson. Uh, this came out in the 80s, I want to say. So we kind of have a little mesh of the early era as well as the 80s material. There's the uh, Earthbound live album in a different cover. Kind of is like a rip on the, um, the red cover. This is the uh, Young Person's Guide compilation. This is what the um, the extra album was modeled after in the new uh, remixed vinyl box set. Discipline. Lizard. One of the most craziest album covers of all time. So much stuff going on. You can you can just literally just look at the detail and you'll be amazed with what you can find there. Ooh, interesting. What's this? Ah, Warner Brothers EG Records promo. Interesting. Sleepless. Then we have Adrian Ballou solo stuff. Nice. Robert Fripp, whoa. He is looking really Miami Vice there. Let's check out the old Beatles stuff. This is a gorgeous looking uh, trunk cover for yesterday and today. I have never seen the butcher cover um, with my own two eyes. The only ones I've seen were probably counterfeits. Uh, 
not see if there's anything notable. So for the most part, a lot of the um, US albums, this is a Holland import. This is an Israeli uh, import of the White Album. A sealed copy of the Hard Day's Night American soundtrack. All right. Japanese uh, Red Album. Yellow Submarine. And then it works its way all the way to the bottom. Love Songs uh, compilation. Beatles Story. Wow, this still has the old uh, sticker barcode on there from 78. Comes with a cutout sheet, which is pretty cool to see. Hollywood Bowl, the original one. 20 Greatest Hits. Ooh, now we're getting into interesting territory here. So this is called The Bootlegs. Oh, so it's like remixes and such. First live recordings in Hamburg from 62. The rock and roll music. Oh. Let it be live. Must be some let it be um, outtakes probably. Silver Beatles picture disc. Another Hamburg album. Real music. Uh, all the stuff in the films. Tony Sheridan. The rarities comp. And then it starts getting into all, like, Beatles-related George, Ringo, John, and Paul solo stuff. St. Louis 1980 or Cleveland 74. Now, here's the thing. What I brought in today were variations of songs from these um, widely circulated shows. Um, some songs were missing, and the art artwork was kind of hokey. It was, I don't know if it, you could say it was counterfeit, but... I knew I could have done better, so they're right here. I know I want to leave with one. What do you think? Which one has more songs? That's actually a good question. Well, I mean, it's they're both two LPs. Oh, oh, this has way more. But keep in mind, the songs are longer on that one. And it's 180. Well, I mean, this one is too. Oh, it's just down okay. to like... Well, which has songs, songs you like better? This has 2112 on it. Yeah, that is a killer. But this one has Garden Road and Fancy Dancer on it. Two songs that Fancy were Dancer. two songs that were never recorded in the studio. I don't know. This is tough. Which is more that you like? You're making this really hard on me. <laughs> no, I'm not. Which has more songs that you like? Oof. He looks like a meet Inigo Montoya. You know what? Because considering that. Rush's early stuff is essentially almost like Canadian Zeppelin and they're really fleshed out here with things like Natural Science and Xanadu and La Villa Strangiato. I think St. Louis this is, is going to be the one. Xanadu? Yeah, it, Xanadu's on here. The roller skating movie. Oh my gosh. All right. Have you ever seen it? St. Louis it is. All right, so we just left the record store, just got to the car, and I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. So as I said in the video, um, the guy was willing to give me $35 for what I had uh, brought in. So I decided to work with that frame, and I found some things, and uh, let's just say I did pay out of pocket for it, but that's okay, because it's a record store vlog, and... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to have a little fun. So the first thing that I picked up, and um, and I showcased this uh, as you saw in the video, is the uh, Nick Drake uh, compilation. So this is a um, an album that came out only in the U.S., uh, which comprises of tracks from his first two albums. Um, it's a reissue. It came out, I believe it was Record Store Day 2013. Uh, it does come with um, the original pasteboard, a gatefold sleeve. Um, there's a shop poster that like record stores would like post on the walls to promote it. Uh, comes with a little bit on the compilation's history. Uh, so from like a historical standpoint, uh, this is a rather cool release to have. Um, there's a couple of Nick Drake uh, compilations out there, uh, but in turn, um, I don't have any as of right now. So I think this is a rather nice place to start and also for like historical purposes. And then I was also looking to... Uh, 
acquire more solo McCartney stuff, and I went ahead and picked this one out. This is Ram. Um, this has, uh, what's on this? Uncle Albert and my Halsey, Heart of the Country. Those are like some of the notable tracks on this. Uh, so I'm very glad to uh, pick this up, and the, uh, the cashier said that this was his best solo album by far. So when I give this a listen, I'll see if I can agree or not. I'm sure it's going to be great. <laughs> and then I picked this one up, as you saw towards the end of the visit. Uh, this is the, being very careful with it, Rush, live in St. Louis, 1980. So I had a Blue Sparkle um, version of a portion of the show. It's not the whole thing, um, but I really wanted to get um, the whole show. And there was another record put out by the same label that had put out the Blue Sparkle version, uh, but it was kind of hard to come by. I think um, the company itself went... I don't know if it was out of business or the records are now hard to come by because they weren't licensed properly, whatever. Uh, so a company recently did this, uh, DOL put this out. This was back in 2015, or it might've been a repress from this year actually, uh, which does have the full show. This is from the uh, Permanent Waves Tour. So you get things like uh, Spirit of the Radio, Natural Science, fantastic Rush tune, uh, Beneath Between and Behind, uh, 2112 of course, La Villa Strangiato, um, just an absolutely fantastic live show, uh, a highly coveted um, show that's been in circulation for quite some time. And then, uh, for the sake of accessories, um, I know I had mentioned this in my previous record store vlog, uh, but I went ahead and picked up a uh, record clamp, figured I'd give this a shot, um, not too bad of a price, a little plastic thingamajig, so I figured I'd uh, try it out for myself, see if it does any wonders, such as, you know, getting rid of any unwanted sounds or sibilants or just simply stabilizing the pressing itself. So I am very excited to give this a shot. Now into why you're watching this video, the CD player. And oh, she picked no. up <laughs> she picked up some CDs. Oh, God. And what did you find today? Well, I got my brother a straight no chaser CD. They're an acapella group. They're very popular. They have the I'm Your Somewhere Over the Rainbow mm. medley. They have, or whatever, there's Wonder, of oh, course, there's Wonder Wall, <laughs> and there's Can't Take My Eyes Off of You, which is like on like nice. every on male everything. singer's solo album. Nice. Who knows why. And then I got this for my mom. It's Harry. There we go. <laughs> Harry Connick Jr. Uh, blue light. I almost said red light. Oh, because on the back it says red light. <laughs> that glare there is we like go. the devil. <laughs> <laughs> um... I don't know any of these songs, but my mom knows them. Nice. She thinks he's handsome. This is the Silver Sun, Silver Sun Pickups album. Excellent, excellent choice. Silver Sun Pickups album, and Fantastic I don't know what it's album. called. Uh, Swoon. Swoon. And I don't know any of these songs either. I could, I could tell you right now, you'll love Panic Switch. Um, Catch and Release is my favorite on this. The Royal We. Substitution. Growing Old is Getting Old. This is a really, really good album. And I got the Aladdin motion picture soundtrack. There you go. Not the new one, the old one. <laughs> I love it. I'm not like much of a like, oh, back in the old days, the movies were better, but I just don't like, I don't like the new ones <laughs> that they're making with Disney. Vanessa Carlton, be not Making my way downtown. <laughs> the soundtrack of my middle school, I think. 2002. Oh no, that's still like <laughs> elementary. <laughs> um, and then I got Jamie Buffett, some James Buffett. Um, it's. It's a live album. It's a. I guess it's a. Oh yeah, Jamie Buffett live, feeding frenzy. There you go. And it has some hits such as Cheeseburger in Paradise and Margaritaville, but it also has a bunch of different songs that I don't really know, and I'm looking forward to it because I only have the greatest hits album right now. And then I got, last one, George Harrison! Nice. Cloud Nine. And... Honey, Superstore reference. Cloud Nine. Yes! <laughs> um, and then one of the songs on here... Oh, got my mindset on, on you. you. Yeah, it has that. And isn't he cute? <laughs> He's so handsome. <laughs> Yeah, so that's all I got, and I'm nice. sorry I don't have any specific facts about only pressed in America, <laughs> only this, only that. Mastered by this they mastering did it engineer. In this year by this person, but I hope you enjoyed <laughs> some of this. <laughs>
<laughs> so there you go, guys. That is yet another successful record store vlog featuring the CD, CD player. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video. And most importantly, keep the record spinning. enjoyed the video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel see you guys in the next video and most importantly keep the CD playing burn it burn it burn it